Hello and welcome to my garage. Today I'm going to be talking through the brake fluid change procedure on an MGB and also how to bleed the braking system. In terms of tools, I'll be using this Gunson's Easy Bleed system. It's a great system if you're working on your own. You basically connect this end to a spare tyre. You, you fill a container here with fluid and it pumps it through the system for you so you can bleed it all on your own. Um, we've also got spanners here for the bleed nipples. We've got quite a handy brake fluid tester here. So if you're not sure what the fluid in your car is like, you can get one of these. They're very cheap. And it's basically a little light, some old brake fluid here. And you can see that the light sort of is showing that it's what we've got there. We've got a, about a 2% reading. So it's, a, it's got some water in it. I'll run through the basic components of the Gunson's Easy Bleed Kit. To start off with, we've got the uh, the part here that connects. This connects to the uh, to the spare tire to pressurise the system. We've got the cap, the cap part here that goes with the reservoir bottle, and then this is the uh, the, the bit that goes onto the master cylinder. In the kit, you'll have a few different tops depending on the uh, on the master cylinder that you want to connect to. Uh, this one does the uh, the MGB clutch, for example, and then there's other models there. After you've selected the uh, the cap that's right for your right, right for your vehicle, you can then undo this uh, this little brass fitting, and then clip clip the clip the cap part to it like that. You've got a little a little fibre washer just under there. The cap goes on, and then your uh, your fibre washer again on the other side. And then the uh, the brass fixing nut so we just we can just pinch that up with a uh, with a 12 wheel spanner and then once you once you've done that you can put the uh, the rubber cap in so the, the rubber seal back in and we'll be ready to go I have made my own collection pot up um, to, to, to catch the fluid as it's bleeding out of the uh, out of the brake lines. Basically, we just got it. We've got a jam jar with a with a metal lid, and I've punched a hole through the lid that that I've put this pipe through, and a, a, a little bit of tape just to hold that in place. And on the other side, I've just put a little bit of metal metal wire through there with a hook on the end in order to sort of hold it up. So when the two the two parts go together like that. I like to have it so that the, the tube is all the way all the way to the bottom there so it's, so it's sort of as soon as you start bleeding it's in the fluid already and you won't get air sucked back into the pipe and then the little hook here is just to sort of put that over onto on, onto a part of the car's bodywork or similar to hold it in place while we do the bleeding process. I think most manufacturers recommend changing the fluid every three years. I would say even if you're not using your car all that often it is worth changing the fluid holds water in it and that can cause rust on brake lines and also reduction in performance. I'll be using this uh, Motor RBF 660 brake fluid in my car. Possibly a bit overkill for a road car but if you're doing a track days or anything like that then it's a, a useful one to have. Be very careful with this stuff, it is, it is quite nasty, you don't want to get it onto your skin or in your eyes so I'll be wearing eye protection and also gloves while I'm, while I'm carrying out the procedure. There's a couple of alternative brake fluids here that I've used in the past. Both have been very good. There's the Comma, which is a dot four synthetic, and the Castrol, which again is a dot four synthetic fluid. I do find these tend to wear a bit better than the, uh, than, the than the racing brake fluids, mainly because they just seem to last a bit longer. Whereas this seems very hygroscopic, and um, you know, usually after a season or so, it definitely needs changing. Whereas for sort of longer term use in a road car, that kind of thing, you should get three years out of these without any problems. I have been told to avoid the um, the silicon fluids in an MGB. Apparently, that damages the seals on the uh, the rubber seals on the mast and around, and around the brakes. So, just before we get started, that's the uh, the mast cylinder reservoir on my car. If you've got a uh, the metal cylinder, you can still use the Gunson's system. Basically, you get different uh, different caps in the system depending on the master cylinder you have. So, we'll be removing this and connecting the system up to it. The uh, bleed nipples. Are on the brakes so if I turn the wheel to the side there hopefully you can see you can see the one on the front brake here that's uh, it's got a little cap on it and that's the bleed nipple underneath the braking system on these early MGBs is fairly straightforward you've got a single line running out of the master cylinder that goes down to a splitter here and you've got two lines that feed the front brakes and then a single line that goes to the rear and is then split over the rear axle 
it's a good opportunity now to use our little brake fluid tester so I'm just going to take the the top off the master cylinder just be very careful not to spill any uh, any of the fluid on the bodywork we'll use our little tester here so it just has a green light and it will change colour if, if there's water in the fluid now this this fluid is is fairly new and you can see on there that it, that it stayed at 0% which is which is just what we want to see if you are seeing sort of two or three percent of uh, of water in the fluid it is worth take, taking syringe and draining some of this out first before you start flushing it through it just means you're not going to have any contaminated fluid coming in coming in with the new stuff so if you want to do that a little syringe in the top then you can just suck it out and put it into a jar do you need to be careful about how much you take out obviously you want you sort of want to get towards the bottom of the reservoir but leave us leave us over sort of two or three mil of, of fluid at the bottom you don't want any air to come into that um, if, it, if it's too empty and also when that fluid is down make sure no one presses the brake pedal and draws the uh, draws the fluid into the system and air with it so now we can get started with connecting up the uh, the Gutsons Easy Bleed system. What I do first of all, before we actually fill the cylinder up with the brake fluid, it's worth connecting the whole setup and just checking that you've got no uh, no leaks there. So what we do first of all is to take the cap off the master cylinder in the car. And we'll connect the Gutsons system to that. I'm a little bit tight on space in this corner of the garage, so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I've just got a, a sort of a cleanish microfiber cloth there. I'm just going to lay that over the wing here, so when we put the uh, the leads across from the uh, from the guns, we won't probably scratch some of the paint. This is just a test run at the moment, so what I'm going to do is to uh, is to screw this. Screw the cap from the from the Gunson's kit onto the master cylinder, and then I, I don't think you'll be able to see. But out of shot here, I've got the uh, I've got the spare tire that I'll be connected to. The spare tire's been set to just under 20 psi, so I'm just going to clip that on. And now you can hear the. Well, I've just heard the system sort of the air blow through there. Now I'm just going to have a quick listen. I think I've got a tiny. I've got no air coming out of the system now, that means I can then fill, fill this container up with brake fluid and we'll get started. So here's our, here's our container from the Gunsons kit. This is the race brake fluid we'll be using. So we fill this sort of most of the way up. It doesn't need to be all the way to the top. Next we'll put the lid on. Just sort of tighten that up gently, and then we can connect this back to the spare tire and back to the uh, back to the system on the car. Just before I connect the system up, I've, I've put a little bit of paper towel around the the master cylinder reservoir. That should just hopefully catch any spills if we make any. And again, we've got a, a bit of cloth here just to protect the wing. Be very careful with brake fluid; it's very corrosive on paintwork. It's always useful to have either some sort of a a spray with some soapy water in or some surface cleaner in it just in case you, you do spill a bit you want to get it off paintwork straight away. So this is the system in place now and ready to go. You can see we've got the fluid bottle just sitting down there. That's connected in to the master cylinder there and then we're just uh, we're just clipped into a spare tyre here. Pressure on this is around 15 psi. The system recommends no more than 20. I find it usually works just as well with a with slightly less pressure in there. I hear just a little bit of a is coming from that bit there so I'll just give that a little squeeze I think that's uh, that's set in place now so I'm going to move around to the rear of the car and we'll start on the rear it's going to be the rear passenger side in the UK car basically this is the one that's furthest away from the master cylinder you'll be able to see here the bleed nipple on the rear wheel cylinder we've just got a rubber cap to take off and then we can see the bleed nipple there that's a seven millimeter spanner so we're going to get that uh, connected up and we'll start bleeding the system through. That's what we need to need to undo. So this is my uh, sort of collection pot, which is basically a, it's basically just a, a jam jar with a tube in it, and then a little hook so I can hang it up. And then I can put this this tube onto the rear of the uh, of, of the bleed nipple out. 
Okay, so I've, I've used the camera to, to zoom right in here just to give you a clear idea as to what we're doing. That's the uh, the bleed nipple just there, so we're just going to use the end of the spanner. And it's just a sort of a quarter turn just to let that let that open, let some of the fluid fluid run through, and then just a, another quarter turn just to uh, to lock that back up in place. Just got the spanner on the bleed nipple there, and I'm just going to hopefully loosen yeah, just loosen it up. And if you look, you'll see the fluid should start to come out. There it is, coming out into the pot there. So I'm just going to open that, open that bleed nipple up and let it let it sort of fill up. Now what I tend to do is just sort of let it close it off by my fingers again, just so it's finger tight. And then just I'm going to open it up and just see if I get any air come through, which I'm not seeing. So that should mean that this corner is is is, is bled properly. I'm just going to open it up again. I'm not seeing any bubbles come through. If you are seeing bubbles once you, after you've closed that off, it could mean you've got a problem with your master cylinder. But seeing no bubbles like that means that you've got that uh, you've got any air out of the system on on this side. So we just just going to lightly pinch. Like you don't need to do these up too tight. And then when you disconnect, hold that hold that hose up so it drops back into the, the fluid drops back into the pot. I'm just going to unhook that. And pop that down out of the way again be very careful with this brake fluid you don't want it sort of squirting about and then I'm just gonna hopefully just tighten that uh, tighten that up so it's so it's done again just the end of the spanner and then we'll put we'll put the the bleed nipple back on I'm gonna do exactly the, the same now over on the uh, on the driver's side of the car but I won't film that, I'm going to film the next bit you'll see will be from the front side of the car. So both the rear wheel cylinders have been bled. We've got around a third of the brake fluid left in the uh, in the container there, so that should be enough to do the front brakes. The front brakes is a similar similar to the rear base, your bleed nipple is on the top here. And I'll be connecting my little jam jar up to that, and then that's an 11 mil spanner to undo. I'm going to collect our little tube up again from the jam jar, so I'll just hook the, uh, the jam jar over the line there and then I'll get our, our hose over the bleed nipple make sure that's on nice. So, and what you may see, when I, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but you may see when I open the bleed nipple up you will get some air come through. Don't worry about that, that's just what's in the, what's in the line already as in what's in the tube, air in the tube. So that's all blown through. And again, I'll just pinch it back in just by my finger and open it again, just to see if we've got any more air, which we haven't. So I'm just gonna let that open up again, just to put a bit more of the nice fresh fluid through the system. Okay, and now I'll do exactly the same on the driver's side of the car. Again, I won't film, unfortunately, the, uh, it's all a little bit tight around that side. So we'll take the hose off, just tighten it up again, you don't you really don't want to do too much on them. And then I'll go around to the other side and finish off. Okay now with the driver's side done, that means I can un unclip the uh, the easy bleed from the uh, from the tire here. I'm just gonna lay that back down into the car for now because before I disassemble all this I want to check I've got a nice firm pedal that's not moving at all, so I'm just gonna have a little feel. So that is a nice, it's a nice solid pedal. I'm also making sure that it's not sort of pumping up and also not creeping down as I push it, push it to the floor. That's not, so that feels pretty good. So I've got cloth at the ready so now I'm just going to take this uh, take the cap off the master cylinder which was which was a guns and easy bleed cap and sort of let that drain back into here and so just be very careful when you're lifting this away from the car not to spill any I'm just going to put this here out of the way now you'll be able to see here that the Gunson system has filled this master cylinder all the way to the top. I don't want the fluid that high. I actually tend to run the car with the fluid on the minimum level. Uh, the reason for this is as it's a race car, that fluid does tend to get hot. 
and in the past it has expanded too much and come out over the top of the uh, over the top of the master cylinder. So let me just put the uh, the camera down again. And I'll get a syringe just to uh, just to take that top of the fluid off. So again, watch you very carefully. I've just got a bit of paper towel. I'll draw this back up into the syringe. Very carefully lift that away. I'm actually going to put this back into the brake fluid box. It is, it is nice and clean. There's no reason why that can't be uh, that can't be used again. Now that I'm happy with the fluid level, I'll put the uh, the cap back on. This just needs to be on sort of finger tight because you you will find that the fluid expands and contracts. And if it's on really tight, it may sort of suck the, the cap on and make it hard to undo. The final thing I'll do is just to take a little bit of cleaner and rub down this. Uh, the wing just to make sure there's no sort of contamination on there. So this is just a detailing spray, I'll just give that a gentle spray over. I didn't notice any fluid drop, but it's always a good proportion, a good precaution just to make sure you've not, uh, not got any fluid there that's going to damage the paint. Just a quick wipe down in there. You can always use a sort of a bit of water for this if you've got a watering can handy or a bit of soapy water in a sprayer, anything really just to make sure you've got no fluid left around the master cylinder and certainly not on the paint here. So that concludes our video for today. I hope that you've enjoyed it. As always with any questions don't hesitate to get in touch and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Many thanks, bye.